Hey guys, Reddit Card Core back in action. And last episode was. Yeah, it was, it was just a lot. I got I calmed down over it and like, whoa, it's, just, it's so intense. And now we're back with just a normal day, I guess. Oh, what's that? Well, I guess that's too bad. I'm done over it. Never mind. Yeah, it's it's just exactly the same as it was before. So I figured there's not much reason to really be reading the things. Like that. So I guess I from here on I'm just gonna cut out any parts that well aren't any. I really don't want to miss a part with like something like that. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. So I guess I'm just gonna have to give you guys not much empty commentary until that happens. I don't trust Monica. I'm pretty sure she caused Yari uh, Sayuri to kill herself. Since uh, Sayuri said something about Mon that Monica was right. She should just. So, I don't know. Yeah, this is the start about where we uh, start doing the reading again, right? Man, I don't trust anything. Should I guess do I just go not to these route now? I I don't know. It's weird. Oh well. I'm still pretty much enjoying this game. Even if it's a... Uh, just killed off Sayuri. But like, what was happening there? I'm pretty sure this game is breaking the fourth wall. I mean, I was suspicious of it before. But like... <coughs> I don't know. What's it, that? Now that we've reached the most, most important topic, I brought income forward with what's going on in mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Monica may have come to the five, but I never made my decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and I lose my train of thought. I have to be going to stay at my Okay. The girl who streamed that scene before Monica came back. I guess I need to tell you the truth about The thing is, please don't have enough money for four minutes of the club. We need four. But I can try really hard to find it. And if you don't find four to four customers, I. I'm defenseless against these girls, like the four. Well, since we need four to have a club, I hope that means that no one else will die, right? I feel terrible letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself is pretty relaxed. So, the Pope is writing poems to the any pain and it is spent every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I'm decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. My goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Medica? Yeah. You know, I'm pretty sure you killed Sayori. Well, at least convinced her to kill herself. Which is essentially the same thing, I, I would say. It could be fun, right? You really did spend it on me. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I would be super pissed. Wait a minute, I'm so happy. You can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. 
write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Got a pen, look over at me and look for Wait a pen, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress this class on Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety growing up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat and really cleaned up the teeth. So, and I guess I'll be on my own then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. I can't wait. With that, I depart the classroom and make my way. The whole way my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Do I really be happy spending every day after school in the Olympic Club? Perhaps I'll even have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, I will just need to make the most of these circumstances. I'm sure good fortune will find me. I guess that starts with writing a poem today. A special poem? Yeah. A joke. A man walked into a club. In the club there was a girl who liked him very much. They spent some time together, and then she liked him even more. One day, the girl realized she was in love with him. The boy disaster. It happened, a third party interviewed with her programmer. Suddenly, the girl hated herself for being in love. This contradiction caused the script to derail. The universe tried to collapse, but she killed herself just in time. What? Somebody mess with her code? What? I'm sorry, what? <coughs> Was it Monica? I knew it. I... Okay, so wait. Let me get this straight. The, in the code, we were supposed to, so if going her route, we would have ended up together. But someone, probably Monica, or maybe I'm jumping the gun, but it's probably Monica, uh, messed with the code and caused herself to hate herself for like, for being in love. Which means that love was supposed to be the answer, but because, uh, she, all right. Could I mess with the code? Is this Undertale? No, no, no. You didn't mess with the code in Undertale. This game character did, though. Alright, whatever. Let's just... I guess not so keep out for now. Hey. There you go. Wait, there you go. Got her. Whatever. And... I don't know. Okay. I... Um... Uh... What? Huh? Who? Alright, but before we continue on after that, I need to bring up the fact that I accidentally pressed universe while we were while I was doing that thing. And I, so I got one for for Yuri and her face became a a white thing with an X on it. And then that happened? <laughs> Alright, fine. Whatever. Hi again, Reddit Kai. I'm glad to see you didn't run away from us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm pretty close to doing it, though. No, well, this Reddit Kai isn't, because he's kind of an idiot. <coughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club, also known as hell. I've lost the moon, so everyone else is already hanging out. Yeah. I hope this isn't too overwhelming to commit to. 
I'm not even comment on what happened to his face. No. Look at these guys could first be flinched from him about the future. Mm-hmm. Oh come on, like he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged up here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out with what? But if you don't take us seriously, you won't see the end of it. Well, uh, thanks for getting in front of the screen. I'm. G- wow, that's a uh, big mouth for someone to keep playing. Is, uh, is that mouth? Yes, we can. Then we have a big mouth for someone to keep Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Not so if you find yourself stuck with your friend, Monica and Manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated Monica uh not to be pop back to the Well I'm sure you put your comfort first, okay? Gary shoots Nasuki with a disappointed face. Um, anyway. Now that you're in the club now, perhaps you might be interested in picking up a book to read. Well, I can't really say no either way. Like you say, I'm in this club now. So it only feels that right for me to do something like that as well. I didn't mean it to talk. Uh, if you don't really want to, then I guess I said anything like this. Ah, no, it's not that, Gary. I want to try to be part of the club. So even if I don't read that often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you want to be free. Are you sure? Well, I'm very excited with them. I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and says out of it. I didn't ask you to give my bag. So I picked it out of it because you never did. It's a short time, so we should keep your attention, even if you don't use it. And we could, you know, discuss it. Wasn't this. I remember this thing. You see. How does this girl accidentally give me so cute? I don't know if it's an accident. I don't know, I don't trust anyone in this club anymore. She even picked out a book she thinks I like, despite me not reading it. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. Enthusiastically, I enthusiastically pick the book. Yuri. Well, you can read it, I guess. I'm supposed to what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to scoff and get a little activity for club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Your face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice that each discussion, unless she's waiting for the strength. Meanwhile, Natsuki's rummaging around in the closet. Ugh. I hear Nat- Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her, in case she needs a hand. You looking for something in there? Anyway, she never picked my. <laughs> All right, so uh, I guess that's a real line, but it's a little corrupted. <coughs> she never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point of keeping a collection organized? Somebody else is just gonna mess it up. That's the size of a bunch of stack books and lots of across the shelf. And then. You need one, alright? Ah. I think it's one of the first things where you can't admit you're really into it unless you figure out where the other person's stand. How'd you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? See, there's a low volume of manga list. A stack of very, various books on the side of one of the main shelves. Is, is manga one of those things you can't really bring up unless? All right, curious. Maybe in Japan, curious. I pull it out of the stack. There it is. That's he snatches it out of my hand. He then turns it to a box of manga and puts the volume right into the middle of it. Ah, much better. Seeing a 
a box a uh, box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating set in the world. I know that feel. I got I got a closer look at the box sheet that she's admired. Perfecto? Uh, it's a series I've never heard of in my life. Probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply perfect. If you're gonna judge, you can do it through the glass on that on the door. He points up to the classroom door. Hey, Hanky, I wasn't judging or anything. I didn't say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Hanky. Okay, consider this a lesson still from the literature. Now, I'm gonna try my best to pass this. Don't <coughs> There you go. In fact, that's what pulls out the book. First volume of Christ. Uh, I'm gonna show you exactly why. She shoves the book right in front of Uh, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine faces. It's exceedingly annoying. Don't just stand there. Ugh. That's if he grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window. She passes the ground next to her and says, you need to sit there. Wouldn't the chairs be more comfortable? No, the floor is better. Let's be real. I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like this. Eh? Why is that? Ah, uh, well, I guess it's easier to be close. You put yourself in this situation. You should have expected it. But don't say that. It'll make me feel weird about it. That's why he crosses her arms and speaks to an inch away from her. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting with this close to her either. Not that I could say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Max and she will get inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes that it's not I look I can feel her peering over my shoulder. Much more eager to begin reading that. Wow, how long has it been since I, mean, I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't you don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometime after I finish the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing really happened yet, so I, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a, a bunch of friends left from high school. Typical slice of life affair. I can't, I can't do out of these, and it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up the lack of plot. Are you sure this is important to you? It's not. You know, you're just watching me read. Well, honestly, she looks adorable. I'm not gonna lie. I'm fine with that. This is fun. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing some something you like with me. I always get excited when I can any of my friends to pick up a series that I You have friends, Redekai? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm. I I know a lot of shocking things have happened, but this is the most shocking to me. Jeez. You know what I mean? Hmm? You don't? Um... That's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with friends? Your friends? Could you not know it in? Ooh. Ah, sorry. Hmm. You don't have friends, alright. I could ever get my friends to be they just, they just think manga is for kids. I can you bring it up uh, without, without them being all like, Eh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? They just want to punch me in the face. Oh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge much less, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitate towards other losers at the time. But it's probably harder for some of them here. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? Redekai, you just called yourself a loser. I'm not gonna say you aren't. I mean, I feel like I can't even get in my own room. Yeah. 
your dad would beat the shit out of you. I'm at least it's safe here in the club. Redekai, are, are you able to, like, understand those words that she's saying? Except Monica. Except Monica kind of jerk about it. Ugh. Um, you just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? Well, here's the thing, Redekai. You seem to completely have ignored the... I didn't, I didn't completely understand until just now, but you seem to be ignoring any other words that are hidden behind the black. No? Alright, it's fine. I mean, here I am, reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Oh, God. Sayuri killed herself. Is Natsuki gonna get beat to death by her dad? I... No, I don't want to see that. I really don't. I don't... I really don't. So... <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. You're gonna keep feeding or what? Yeah, yeah. Whoop, okay. Man, I'm... I'm really... emotional now. Like, I don't... I really don't want to see the future. Or, like, see what comes of it. Time passes. Not to be strangely quiet now. Am I just if I'm a, am I just leading these people towards their death by like going their route? Would it be better if I just you know didn't do anyone? If I just went all, all over the place? Not to be strangely quiet. I glanced over at it. The question is starting to fall asleep. Hey, not to be. Yeah. Suddenly, not to be glanced at it. But hey. Normal? Normal? She's saying something. Uh, she's definitely saying something. Oh, jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give them. She doesn't even finish her sentence before she's stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, Redekai. She's fine. It just happens every now and again. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, why don't we all share our codes then? Okay, sure. Let's just ignore the thing that happened now. Because apparently, she's fine. It, reality isn't cur collapsing on her or anything. No, she's okay. I told Natsuki I was interested in a poem system. It's probably only fair I, I shared mine with her first. Oh, the one we share it with first actually matters? That's kind of worrying, actually. Okay, well, let's start with things that I don't like. <laughs> first of all, um, Natsuki rereads my poem. Oh, she loves it. N never mind. I, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. <laughs> What's the point of saying it in the first place? I wrote this one. Could have been doing other things. Uh, in fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing those. I wanted to help you feel comfortable enough to show yours. Like Monica said. Uh, it's too good for her. She, she can't get over the fact that it's amazing. I would be more comfortable. Well, I, I would be more comfortable sharing my poems if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, Ha, well, it's not that great, but let me show you what a real literature looks like. And you want to ruin it. Compliment? Insult? I'm... I hope you're happy. So in other words, you're saying you really liked it. There you go, Redekai. Eh. 
The Geek Tutorial gets caught in his throat. Oh, you. Uh, you're so... Just, you just... You don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that I don't have time to go and act in the, the world like they're... Or like they're all self-important. I'm pretty sure you never act. I'm pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. <laughs> I think you must really hate me or something. She's just a tsundere. So it means that she loves you. But also, I don't want to get attached to her. Because I have a feeling. It's just a feeling that she's gonna die. Can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she left that home. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Is it gonna be the same as before, or is it a new one? Eh, yeah, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me... Will make me if I don't. Right. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can move, horses can race, owls can sneak, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. So, it was the same one as before, with a slightly depressing feeling. Yeah... I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the whole point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really tiring. I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on, on the word play. Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but I made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out a feeling from that. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. Yeah, this is all just the same as before, so I don't really know what to do about it. Is she the youngest one here? Oh yeah, I guess they used to. Alright, we have two left and Honestly, just I get, I'm gonna end the video off here. Ooh. I feel very. Is there even a purpose of saving? Cause my slots all got deleted. I want I wanted to go to the main menu again. I save. No, I save. I save. Save it. Man, I got. I want to go to the main menu one more time. Just, just see it. Oh my god. Oh wow, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's something. That weird bar at the top is gone. I could press new game, but I feel like that wouldn't help me very much. Maybe it would. I'm just uh, missing out on something great. Whatever. Anyway, put a like, comment, down at the bottom. I hope Natsuki doesn't die as well. Red Kai Core, out of action.